How you doing, bud? How's that like? He's limping a little bit. Oh, there's um, something up. There's something definitely up. This is not good. Oh my gosh. There, boom. He yeah, falls. shoot. This is a bummer, man. All right, so we're at the Bush Wildlife Animal Hospital, and uh, I'm really nervous because I, I know he's injured, but I just don't know the severity. And I wanna, I've just had this animal for a long time and I love him to death. I wouldn't want anything to be catastrophically wrong. So hopefully, hopefully we get some good news. Hello. Our animal mission is simple. Education in action, conservation in action. This is Camp Kennedy. All right, well, so let's get Guap's out. He's such a good lizard. Oh, it's a little wet in there still. Hey, buddy. Oh, let's get him on out. We'll have a walk around a little bit. Yeah, he, um, you know, the key is, is about finding out what's going on. Is there a, uh, is it a sprain? Is there a, fra a fracture or a dislocation? Um, the best case scenario is it's gonna be a sprain that we can't see anything really out of whack. So a sprain would be the best case scenario. Um, and actually, I think a fracture would be the next best case scenario because a dislocation, gosh, I don't know how we would be able to reset a dislocated joint. Now, it doesn't look that way. I'm hoping it's just a bad sprain. Uh, in which case, all we're gonna really have to do is just keep them isolated, keep them from moving around too much, and just try and keep them comfortable. Uh, so we'll have to keep them in that smaller enclosure. But the key is, is Stephanie's coming in right now, Hi, Steph. I was just kind of telling everyone what's going on. I wanted to fill you in, too. He is the coolest lizard. I, I've had him since August of 2004, and he was a little guy. So he's absolutely a heart, uh, like a big heart. Never tries to bite. Very cool animal. So it's not like Goliath or the anaconda. Or the, the <laughs> I was like, I really so, hope this one's handleable. <laughs> yeah, no, totally cool. Um, so what had happened was there's a, a high uh, hide box. He was on the roof of the mm -hmm. hide box. And last night when I was just making my rounds, I saw so he came in, he got excited, and he just plopped right off and landed. I didn't notice anything then, but this morning he's favoring this leg. So I, I just want to see, is it a sprain, is it a dislocation or a fracture? And I was just telling folks, it's, it's going to be on this right leg. Front um, leg? Yeah, front right leg. And if we can get him to move, you'll see. Hi, uh, we'll see. I don't know if you have a banana or something. Now, watch, here we go. He's going to start moving. So yeah, here, go now. Watch out if he sees banana. Say, does he take it or should I toss it to him? Just leave it right there. He, he he's in a new spot. <laughs> so let's see. Look at that, Guapo. This is a good spot, buddy. Look. Oh. Do me a favor, Guaps. Come over here now. Show Steph how you walk. Come Show her how you oh, walk. No, Dad's got the good stuff. Wait, he's walking a bit better. Yeah, but you can still tell There's he's not putting all his pressure, pressure on that on foot. It, but either way, it's I, very minimal, but it's. it's I'm just a lunatic with this guy. This is like no, as close really? to a dog as I'll ever own. Rather be safe than sorry, yeah. right, handsome boy? Yeah, he's, he's like, so yo, you got cool. any more of those nanas? Yeah, he's amazing, man. <laughs> I love this lizard. So I just wanted to fill you in. So, you know, with animals, and I was trying to tell everyone, like, best case scenario, it's a sprain. Mm -hmm. Second best case scenario, in my opinion, would be a break, right? A dislocation might be harder for us yeah. to set. Yeah, but dislocation would definitely be harder. Um, so. Depending on the severity of the break. If it's something minimal, splint it, rest, even just rest. Right. Sometimes heal very minimal breaks. Well, I'm, I'm actually a little happier that mm -hmm. he's, you know, walking around a bit better, but I just want to be yeah, safe. Some. Uh, and I'm making a mess on the floor, but I think okay. it's swabbing time anyway. Yeah. Maybe you can put me to work for all the favors you guys do for okay. me. Well, yeah. I've got extra set up, so whenever oh, okay. we're ready, I'm going to get my gown on. I think he's making a uh, lizard poos here you soon. Oh, hey, handsome. Oh, easy, easy. You guys know this room. <laughs> yeah. uh, this would be one of the easier x-rays. Uh, you some of the other ones you don't speak so soon, man. We aren't there yet. We're booting this thing up. We could have technical difficulties. I am, I'm thinking that he's not going to like being on his side. Look at those toes. Oh, those are creepy toes. 
Are his eyes all red like that? Yeah. He's no, always red. Actually, no, no, he's, he's cool. always red. He's got red eyes. He's kind of cool. And he's amassed kind of a, uh, a peanut gallery of, of enthusiasm and curiosity. Have you ever seen one of these before? No. no. Yeah, they're cool, man. They're different than the green iguanas that we have running around down here. This is Don't a uh, terrestrial iguana from the island of Cuba. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it. Uh -huh. Oh, you have a little sneeze there. Hi, baby. Face. Isn't he cool? You just gonna touch everything with your tongue. Yeah, he's just <laughs> checking things out. <laughs> All right, Tom. Hi, friend. <laughs> you are so handsome. He's pretty cool. I like His name is actually Guapo. It's Guapo, yeah. Mr. Handsome. Because he is handsome. He's handsome. You are. All right. Face. All right. Yeah, so. I guess we'll do uh we'll do the fit um, straight down right BB first because essentially he'll right there he might just hang. We're what do you mean? We'll shoot this first and we'll see how he does. See what we can see because otherwise we have to push him down. Yep. I'll send do his it. legs out. And I'll do it. Are you a good boy? How do you want him down? Yep. Just as long as his chest is down and that arm is extended. Oh, both front down. arms. If it hurts him too much. Stop. Just gonna protect. Uh, you, do you want to shoot it like while we're holding him? Or? Yeah, yeah, oh, oh. yeah. We need to position him and hold him in place. Okay. okay. The stiller he is, the better. Bring it out towards his face up front. Oh, it's, it's rough. It's it hard. can't go that way. Yeah. Okay. Then we'll shoot it that way. Oh. Stay where you're at, baby. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. How'd we do? The, I didn't see, see that screen. Machine sucks, sucks, sucks. Okay. I'm sorry, Guapo. But I want to make sure I can tell everything that's going on in there. You know it hurts, buddy. Right? Yep. There we go, handsome. Good job. Let's see what we can. Okay, so Stephanie and I are just looking here. Now, actually, this is on the left side. This looks like, but, but I am seeing a separation there as well, tiny, but that's a larger okay. separation. I don't know if that's a Typically joint. when we're looking into shoulders, we start in the, the you know front middle and we go, okay, is everything symmetrical? Do we see anything that looked like a break? Doesn't help that he's not perfectly straight either. Right. Um, is that, what I'm curious about, is that a joint? And it might be. Yeah, or is that a So break? we'll send this to Heather and we'll see what she says. All right, well, she eat recently? the good news is, is that he's yeah, moving that's much that's better than earlier. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of keep him in a uh, more kind of constrained enclosure. One that he can't climb too much. He can just kind of bask and get out of the sun. Yeah, I wonder if she did, if he didn't possibly separate it and it popped back. You know what I mean? I don't know. I mean, that's the way it happens in humans. I'm just curious, you know? Yeah, who knows? It could be like a hairline too, little, just a little fracture that causes pain in the right positioning. Well, yeah. and also the female did get a pretty good chomp on this arm the other day as well. Mm. So um, there's no broken skin. But uh, between the fall and maybe her, <laughs> maybe that's uh, what's causing the problem. So a little separation, a little rest is what we're going to do. I want to thank my friend Stephanie here at Bush Wildlife and everybody at the sanctuary for always helping me out with these animals. And uh, if you guys want to go on over to bush.org, bush.org, right? Bushwildlife.org. Bush yeah. yeah, go on over there and help them out as well. All right, so he's back and... Basically, the prognosis is that he needs rest. There's no broken bones, no fractures, so it's basically a sprain, and we're gonna set him up. Oh, look who decided to come out. There's Lola. We gotta get her in. Hold on. Let me grab her. She's nibbling on some philodendron. Everybody, it's, it's like, you know, a circus over here. All right, so this is where Guops is gonna have to convalesce for a little while. We're just gonna keep him in here. And uh, basically, just a little R&R, &R, a little rest and relaxation. Once I notice he's not limping on that thing anymore, um, I will then bring him back into the main enclosure, where, of course, there'll be a little bit of competition between him and Lola, but they'll be able to see each other, and it should be okay. Um, I'll keep an eye on him. But basically, a uh, very simple setup in here. Uh, he's got a little place to get out of the uh, sun, out of the weather. Um, there isn't too much direct sun beating on this, so don't worry about that black uh, house. He'll be okay, because I would hate for anything to happen to Mr. Well, Hanson here. This is a serious stress for you. I mean, that's yeah, man. It's it's like you know there are 
there are animals that have been with me here for very, they're all important to me. But obviously, you know, I'd be lying. I mean, I have animals that if I didn't say they were kind of favorites of mine, um, I'd be a liar. And, uh, you know, I like to keep it real. And Guapo is one of the channel's most famous stars. So I want to make sure that he's happy. It's just temporary. All right, what's going on? It's been about a week and Guapo has been hanging out in here. So let's have a look at him and see how he's doing. I think it might be time to get him back in his proper enclosure. He looks pretty good. He doesn't look like he's uh, limping too bad. I want to make sure that I'm on hand because anytime you separate Cyclora, any of these rock iguanas, what could happen is, oh, one hand's not easy, is of course, now watch the female, she's going to get an attitude. So we're just going to have to be on hand to make sure that they work it out without too much violence here. So let's see. Uh, anytime you, s you separate your lizards, you always got to be careful when you put them back together. So uh, that's what we're doing right now. Just some head bobbing. Let's see good old guapo. I want to watch him walk around and make sure that everything's okay. And then we can close out this little exciting story about what happened to my buddy, man. Guapo had a rough, rough go of it. And I, I'm sure it was from that fall. So what I've done, as you know, is I went over here and I placed, oh, look at this. I left some collard greens from yesterday. What a knucklehead. Uh, but anyhow, we got us a nice ramp right there that he can walk up and on and i think i'll even add another one just to make sure that the good old guap doesn't have any issues so let's see are you being a good girl you better be a good girl to him hey i'm watching you i'm watching you be a good girl i want to just get him out here first you see that's a submissive posturing but she's going to open her mouth sometimes they'll bite each other's jowls and things like that but uh doesn't look like it's going to be so bad, and he's just such a good lizard. He is such a good boy. I really do love him. All right, man. Are you going to be cool? You guys going to relax? There's plenty of room here, you know. You don't have to be such a jerk, Lola. You're the boss. We know it. But this is good stuff, man. This is how we learn. I want you guys to learn from my experiences. Um, and you got to be on hand with these animals. Usually it's a lot of head bobbing. Watch, there's going to be a bite right there. Oh, oh, yep. Yeah. You see that? Well, let's see how he walks. That's what I'm mostly concerned with. Hey, come here. He's looking pretty good, guys. There you go. That's, you got it. Oh, look at this. Just a little shake. Nothing too bad. But he's looking pretty good, man. Good old Guapo. Careful, Lola. Be a good girl. Be a good girl. I want him to reestablish some dominance. And I am holding her. But I'm holding her from up on the base of a tail. Because what can happen, of course, if I hold her too far down, she'll break her tail off if she feels threatened. Sometimes you can actually cause her to realize she's not the boss. Here we go. So we got some jaw fencing perfectly okay. I just don't want that Chinese box turtle to get it, but that's some jaw fencing. This is normal behavior when establishing dominance. Now, if this gets out of hand or if they draw blood, that's when I'm going to have to separate them a little bit. But I think we're going to work it out today. These two have lived together for a long, long time. And you can see he doesn't look stressed out. He's not limping any longer. I just want to make sure she doesn't bite at his limbs. This is all normal stuff. See that? Now he's reestablishing his dominance. He's the big boy. He is a big boy. Good grief. You guys, it's like watching two dinosaurs fight, huh? Although, to be perfectly honest, birds are more like dinosaurs than these guys. But they are definitely prehistoric animals, that is for certain. And so when you see this kind of behavior, you gotta remember that iguanas, they don't vocalize. Uh, everything's visual, and of course, these kind of movements, head bobs, jaw fencing, gaping of the mouth, they're all visual cues to let each other know what's going on, uh, am I annoyed at you, uh, are you making me nervous, but you can see she's just trying to establish some dominance, and it looks like he does not really care. The big thing that I'm happy about, everybody, is the fact that Guapo doesn't have any serious injury. As you can imagine, having an animal as long as I've had the guaps, uh, you don't want anything to happen to them. We're talking, of course, about lizards that can live upwards of 50 years. So I want to make sure that they have a long, healthy life. 
And uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm just hands-on with my animals. And it's very important that you be hands-on with your animals and spend time with them. So that's it, everybody. Guapo, Lola, back together again. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. It got me nervous. I'm so glad that these two are still spunky. What are you doing? Why are you such a jerk? Oh, yeah. It looks like it's going to be just fine. All right, everybody. You know what usually helps? A little food. A little food for the dudes. Hey, have a little water, too. Got to spread that off. This can sometimes cause their attention to shift. And there, he knows the food's in here. Look at this. How smart are these animals? They know where their food comes from. Are you going to... You're not going to go right in there, are you? That's just mud. I don't want people to worry and think that that's actually some kind of blood from these guys. Come here. Come over here. I'm going to feed you on the rocks. Come here, guaps. You're a rock iguana. Eat a whoa! Whoa! <laughs> whoa, guapo. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's... No. That, that. Oh, guapo. Well, they're loving that. They're going to lick it all off. I'm going to put some more up here. The turtles will get it. Guapo can get it. And uh, you notice how everyone stopped fighting? It's time to eat. That's the way to each other's hearts. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Guapo and Lola are going to be just fine. I'm going to stick around and make sure things go smooth. And I hope you guys learned a little bit about Cyclora or the rock iguanas. More specifically, the Cuban rocks. So happy Guapo isn't hurt. And I'll see you guys next time. Hey, listen, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, follow along on Patreon if you want to see some more content. And don't forget to hit the notification button so you guys know when I upload new videos. See ya. Little maniacs. Oh, see, who's the boss now? <laughs>